What's going on YouTube? Ball5 bringing you... I was asked to commentate some league games, so let's just get into it. I have no idea what these team names are. The only team, the only league team name I remember is Rotom Mixtape, and that's me, and I'm not even in this league. But um, Rotom Mixtape was winning if I was in the league. Just just, just be wary of that. But uh, since I'm not, I'm just going to spec to uh, commentate these matches. We got Rotom Mo lead versus Shunk. Rotom Mo with Leaf Storm. Really messes with his team. Because he doesn't really have a good switch, and he actually tricks the scarf away. Uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, nothing beats Aerodactyl. Well, nothing outspeeds Aerodactyl now. And the Leaf Storm goes wide left, trying to predict the main trick on the Volt Switch. But I mean, goes for it now. I personally try to tactical loop into this thing and then flamethrower or overheat on the next turn. And that overheat does seventy two. So that's probably Specs Volcanion out here. Volcanion's a threat, but for Alligator. Can't really set up, well he can set up if he really wants to, but he just goes for the crunch. Well, Canyon does have Water Absorb, and that that's just actually just going to straight kill Shuckle from there. I just thought it would just barely live because Shuckle is just defensive, and he goes into the Aerodactyl and switches, trying to see if he has Aqua Jet or not, I guess, but he actually just straight waterfalls, so he probably doesn't have Aqua Jet in that case. And Crunch doesn't kill because Volcanion's bulky. I don't actually know uh, Volcanion's stats off the top of my head, but it's obviously got a pretty high special attack. And it's slower than for alligator. So um I think either Flygon or Main Extra come out here. I didn't actually watch this battle. Leaf Storm mur almost murders that Flygon, but he does have a citrus berry. And uh yeah. He has leftovers from tricking the Shuckle. I thought the Shuckle would be like a custat berry or whatever berry Shuckle runs. I think it's a no, it's a mental herb, right? Either way, uh Flygon's just gonna outrage, do it. Nice sixty five to Rotom. And Rotom's at like minus six special attack right now. So if he has a setup Pokemon, he can take advantage of that. Um, if it's like a nasty plot light bird or something, he actually goes into main act trick and probably gonna kill it with flamethrower now. As he he's I actually as this is his mega and not arrow. I thought that it was gonna be a mega arrow. Completely oblivious to that thing's mega. Mega Lock when he comes out here, it's shiny, that's pretty dope. Uh, he's gonna go into Volcanion. Just to sack it, and probably you know, Aerodactyl's not even faster because he's not mega. But um, he's probably gonna go to main extra next turn. Oh, the tail one was off. But he's probably gonna go to main extra next turn just to intimidate that power up punch. I didn't see that coming. He actually goes light pretty. He's probably gonna T wave, and uh, yeah, he goes in the t thunderous T. So probably predicting the T wave, and that is what comes out here. So he actually taunts. I thought he would try to save Lyper to T wave the lock honey later, but oh, that lived. That did nothing, huh? Wiper does dookie defenses. How did that do so little? And he actually mixes up with a Dark Pulse, trying to catch main Nectric. Um, and then gets just straight o code by a stone. He's not choice because he literally just switched moves. But um yeah, he's gonna probably ice punch here or high jump kick. So he goes in the light run. I thought he'd try to like T wave it later, but um I guess he's going main for the intimidate on this next turn, and how much on his team takes a T bolt now? Unless it's some kind of defensive Sylvia, which it probably is. Um, he actually goes into it. If he volt switches, he actually T bolts and gets the para, but like that doesn't matter too much. He actually tries to switch into Aerodactyl. I think this is Specs. It might not be. It doesn't have leftovers, so I, I can't really tell. And he goes for Aerial Ace, like it's a Mega, but it's not. And that just gets bought by the Hyper Voice. And now Manetra comes out. It can't intimidate Pun anymore, so maybe if he dodges a high jump kick, he has a chance. And then T waves the. Uh, thing and just keeps getting paras. He actually goes into Meloetta and then that's just gonna take any hit because has high spadef. He actually call mine, so I think he's trying to go for that Oko. And I believe this battle ended in a 2-0. Yeah, that just does nothing anymore. No hope of winning that. I mean that trick is just out of the picture from that side shock. So that's going to wrap it up. That's basically just the first game of round one. I do have other round one matches to commentate so look out for those in the future but th that was it that was round one or this round one game and i'll see you with some others